First Peter. Chapter 1. From verse 6. The power of joy. The power of joy. The first scripture we read in Isaiah 12 shows to us you receive everything that Christ has for you. Everything he has accomplished for you. Everything God did for you in Christ. You receive it through joy. For that is the well of salvation. And Joel tells us you receive harvest through joy. Harvest through joy. First Peter 1 6. Wherein ye greatly rejoice. So look at the kind of rejoicing is a great rejoicing. To rejoice exceedingly or to be exceedingly glad. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. So Peter is saying that it is possible. That's why it's you the word, if need be. So in other words, it does not have to be. If need be. He's not saying that you must go through things. But he's saying that the possibility is there. And so, Peter is saying in that verse 6 that it is possible you are going through certain things in your life right now. It's possible that for the past 10 years, 15 years or more, you have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. It is possible. It is possible that there is something that has been going on in your life. And it is like it has refused to leave. But he's saying that. Even in the midst of that. You should greatly rejoice. Now, are you rejoicing that. Oh Lord thank you. That uh, see now I've been married for 15 years. I don't have children. You know, Lord I just thank you for making me like that. No. No. You don't, we don't rejoice in the evil that we may be experiencing or the negative thing we may be experiencing, we, are, we rejoice in the answer that God has provided for that situation. You are rejoicing for the answer God has provided for this situation. That is why it, it tells the barren woman of us after four, sing, rejoice, break forth into singing, cry aloud, and then to tells her, expand your dwelling place. Create room for the children you are expecting. Expand your dwelling place. Stretch yourself. Hallelujah. That is a faith action. In it. And so, you greatly rejoice, though now, for a season. And he's saying that whatever you are going through is for a season. Listen, whatever you are going through right now is for a season. It's not forever. You didn't hear me? I said it's not forever. It's for a season. Hallelujah. And Bible tells us, that one of the prophets said this, the set time to favor Zion has come. Like I told you, Jesus is your set time. And so what, what is that season? What is that time in which this season will elapse? The season elapsed in Christ. And so, but I've been in Christ for 10 years and out of 10 years, the last 5 years, I've been going through this thing. So if, if I've been in Christ, why, why has it not ended? Now you know that Christ is your set time. And so the set time to favor you is now. Every day of your life is a set time for God to favor you. Not tomorrow. Not next year. Right now. This very moment. 